Ryan, who was named the NFL MVP on Saturday, became the eighth straight NFL MVP to lose in a Super Bowl. In the final 16 minutes of regulation, Ryan completed four of eight passes with two off-target throws, no touchdowns, and three sacks, including one that resulted in a lost fumble while up 16 in the fourth. Through three quarters, he had a perfect passer rating, 158.3. In the fourth, it dropped to 98, still solid. Here's Matt putting on a brave face after the most devastating loss of his career. That was a tough one. Um, you know, I, I wish I could have done a better job trying to get rid of that ball. Um, you know, that, that was a big drive for us to kind of turn the field and get the ball down in, in field goal range and to not come away with points on that drive uh, was very disappointing. All right, gentlemen, I'm going to start with you, Max. Did this performance prove Ryan is not the league MVP? Yes, it did. And, and um, I hate to say it because I understand the logic of saying, look, you got to give a regular season MVP award because a third of the teams about in the NFL, a little more, make the playoffs. But what about the two thirds, a little less that don't? You know, you're going to remember recency bias. You're going to remember the last thing you saw and then the guys who don't make the playoffs or, or don't progress as far in the playoffs, get shafted and all that stuff. I get that. But we can't pretend that the highest leverage games don't count. They count for more, much more, than a regular season game. And what we have right now is an MVP in the regular season and an MVP for the Super Bowl, and we pretend that the entirety of the playoffs don't happen, including the Super Bowl. Wait, you can't factor in the playoffs. Yeah, you well, can't, you no, can't no, factor no. in the playoffs. Everything's regular no, season. No, 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 yeah. right. And that's the problem, because the reality is, was he regular season MVP? Yeah. He has a strong case. But ha why are we even asking the question, does this prove he wasn't the, re the real MVP? We're asking the question because we implicitly acknowledge that there's higher leverage games and we'll see what's what at the end of those games. And what you saw at the end of that game that is that Matt Ryan wasn't the MVP. Sorry to Matt Ryan who had a fantastic year, but you can't come up that small in the biggest moments of the biggest games and, and say I, you're the I, MVP. Let me, let me go ahead and get him. I, I, first of all, how can you say the man came up small? You just heard the numbers when he, in his first half and the second half. Second half, uh, I said. 98%. 98 in the fourth 98, quarter. I mean, in the fourth quarter, that, that wins ball games. If you can't win when your quarterback has a, a QB rating of 98, that, that says to me. You can't that, take a sack in that situation. Oh, so you're going to just go by the sack and say he's not uh, an MVP? That, if that's the case, then the Peyton Manning should Was he a runaway MVP? MVP? Lost. Was he a runaway MVP? No, it against, don't matter if you run away if you won by one example. vote. He's still an yeah, MVP. Right. So if it's that close. He beat Aaron Rodgers. You're Michael Jordan of the NBA. And, and by the way, had Aaron Rodgers, been, so had Aaron please, Rodgers you, been the quarterback of the Atlanta Falcons, here you they go. would have well, wow. this, this isn't this isn't Madden football where you start taking one quarterback off one team and putting him on another. Can experiment. you please just better. give him your your whole slogan? What is he right now? You're wrong. But are you going to give him the wrong? You're not going to give him the disrespect? No, no, no. He's not being disrespectful. He's just wrong. I understand in the immediate aftermath of the Super Bowl, the fact that Matt Ryan, who's been in this league for so long, took right. that sack. You got to know better than that. Again, that shouldn't that, that doesn't mean he's not the MVP. I'm just saying this ain't the day to gloat about Matt Ryan because Matt Ryan hurt himself in that regard, but it doesn't negate the fact that he is the MVP. The MVP is based on what you've done throughout the regular season. He was nothing short of phenomenal, not to mention the fact that in the postseason he was phenomenal as well. Absolutely. He had only Green Bay, and he deserves credit for that. That mistake that he made in terms of taking that sack after the minus one yard run by Devontae Freeman, which followed Julio Jones' spectacular catch for 27 yards down the right sideline. Of course, that's going to count against Matt Ryan, not to mention the fact that when you have a 28 to three lead, people are looking at you and saying, could you not stop the bleeding? So again, what I'm saying to you is that he's not, you're wrong. He is the MVP and we shouldn't look at him any differently. What we should look at him as is this, even in the throws of Matt Ryan, going for league MVP honors. At no time did we ever compare him to Molly, why ask hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Matt Ryan played a phenomenal hold on, hold on. game. Listen, listen, I, I, at yeah. no time did we ever compare him to Tom Brady. No need we to. I'm saying we learned why yesterday. As you would we say. We suspected as, before listen, the game. As y'all both would say, there are levels to this. Yes. Matt Coach Ryan is great. Played an but. Tom Brady is on Molly, another level. Why are you asking so, the question in the first place? You're asking the question. Implicit in the question is, should we wait till the end of the Super Bowl before we give out of the MVP award? That's really no, what the question asks. we should not. Then why would we even ask if this proves he wasn't the MVP? Because the reason it does prove that is because the questions of people like Stephen A. and others was in the moment of truth, do you trust Matt Ryan? And yes. many people yes. Yes. Well, yes, I many, saw that yesterday. I many trusted Many people it. said no, and they, in the moment of truth, 
were proven right when he took the sack. People say no because of the end result. When he had the football in his hands, he did what he needed to do, throwing it to the right person, did not turn the football over. So we're going to nitpick on a certain play during the game and blame Matt Ryan and say he's not the MVP. That is so disrespectful because if you want to go on the opposite side of the ball, then that means that Tom Brady shouldn't have threw that interception that went for a touchdown. They wouldn't have been in that situation. Exactly. So it's, it's disrespectful in a sense for you when you're talking about Matt Ryan and everything that he's accomplished during the regular season. And then he and Tom Brady both going into this championship game, throwing for eight, almost 800 yards in the playoffs. That says a lot about what he was able to accomplish, not only just during the regular season, but also when it counted in the last eight games of the season. Tom Brady and also Matt Ryan are very similar in a sense because both knew how to protect the football. They did what they needed to do to help their team win. They were the best player on the football team, even though people may say Julio Jones, but I still met, say Matt Ryan was the best football player on the Atlanta Falcons, and he was the best football player last Jones. night. Julio Jones is the best. And by the way, See, one that, of the that's the problem that I have. That I have a problem with that because we always high. want to bring somebody else around the quarterback and say he's the best player. But in order for that receiver to get the ball, the quarterback has to get him the football. Yeah, but the reason his completion percentage was high as was because Julio Jones, even with What the about guys, 13? He, 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 he threw 13. He, he threw touchdowns to 13 other people. I'm not he saying that. Ball wait, wait, that wait, many wait, wait. Times. I'm not saying Matt Ryan's not. I'm but... not saying Matt Ryan's not excellent. But if we acknowledge that the MVP race was close, in other words, he was barely the MVP over some other candidates, then we also have to acknowledge oh. that the outcome of the highest leverage game will affect how we feel about it. It doesn't matter if he's it's by one vote or a half vote. a vote. He's the MVP. He's MVP. Of the, he and if he deserves to and, have the MVP. The why, defense, okay, listen, again, why are we asking the question? We're asking the question because it always comes down to who's better than who. Because now we want to sit in the sense with Matt Ryan, who's not the Tom Brady and that has a name, but in a game that mattered the most when we want to sit there and nitpick different things mm -hmm. we want to now pull something out about Matt Ryan mm -hmm. if he would have won that game he would have been probably the the best quarterback in the Super Bowl since Phil Sims when it comes to efficiency and consistency in the passing game Matt Ryan has put on a he put on a clinic during the game where only only went less than what 45 plays in a game that right there should tell you We're point asking direction. the question because in the moment of truth we want to know yes Randy Moss will likely be a first ballot Hall of Famer next year when he's eligible. I sincerely doubt that at any point we're going to sit up there and say Randy Moss is the best player on the New England Patriots instead of Tom Brady. We're not going to say that. No. Because we're going to recognize that despite the greatness of a Randy Moss, somebody had to get him the damn ball. I'm not going to disrespect Matt Ryan as much as I think that Julio Jones has established himself as the best. As much as I believe that that catch by Julio Jones was, was outstanding. Oh, spectacular. Was the bottom line incredible. is I saw a lot of accurate passes that Matt Ryan was throwing. The New England Patriots were successful. Time of possession proves it. They kept them off the field. They sat up there and disrupted their rhythm. They affected them in ways that normally teams couldn't affect. You got to remember, coming Coming into yesterday's Super Bowl, the previous six games, the Atlanta Falcons had played with a double-digit lead in the second half. So you got, you got your prevent defense, you're playing with a cushion, you're able to take chances. It affected a lot of things. The same thing happened yesterday, except that Tom Brady got going. All of a sudden, it pressurized them. They weren't able to produce. And what I think we've learned is that Matt Ryan, we're not, we haven't learned anything about the greatness of Matt Ryan except for one thing, which we truly already knew. There are levels to this, yeah. and as great but, as Matt Ryan is, he ain't Matt Ryan, Matt Ryan all. in the NFC Championship game kept adding to the lead. It was ruthless, even in the second half. Even as Aaron Rodgers made plays that no one else could make, Matt Ryan Green Bay's defense kept, is not New England's. Exactly. Yes, when faced with a good defense Seattle's in the defense biggest moment, they were going three and out. Defense. They were good. They were yeah. going three and out. If not for Julio Jones, it would have been worse. defense is good. Yeah. Uh, no, what do you not, do against them? No, yeah. well, actually, actually, Earl Thomas yeah, 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 made little, all the difference no, no, with Seattle. Earl Thomas, stood, they were still a good defense. Still a good defense. Not, the secondary was severely compromised, the point you've made on this show. Not that severely. No, uh, pretty severely. To the point where you're scoring 40? Guys, guys yeah. we got we to leave it there. Okay. So, Jerry Jones 